Good. So shall we start up with some warm-up questions? <laughs> Let's do it. I'm back. Let's see how long it lasts. All right. So um, just a couple of rapid-fire things, Francis. So Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram? None. Of- <laughs> None. <laughs> hey, all right. I am a complete uh, Luddite when it comes to social media. Um, yeah, okay. And I only have a Twitter account because I had to advertise a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Art, I think you feel somewhat the same way. I think I've sent about four tweets in my life. That might be an overestimate. So, <laughs> all right, easier one: coffee or tea? Oh, neither. Diet Coke. Neither. Oh, oh, no. oh no. <laughs> oh, for two. No caffeine whatsoever, huh? No Diet Coke and lots of it. Okay. Okay. No Diet coffee Coke. or tea. Rise early or sleep in? Oh, rise early. Yeah. How early is early? Well, 4, 4.35. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, were you an ornithologist at one point in your life? No. Um, <laughs> you know, biological rhythms. Now I have a child, yeah. so that's the only window of time I can actually have to myself. Ah, fair. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I get it. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about one of your talents or skills that is non-scientific? Oh, goodness. Talents or skills. Well, I guess a unique one, perhaps for uh, for everyone, is I can I'm a, a very good curler, so I'm Canadian. Oh, cool! So really? I can curl. Um, <laughs> I've never met a curler. I know, so it, I thought that would be a unique thing. So I used to curl when I was a kid. I, I haven't done it for a while. Um, mm-hmm. For a while, when I was at university, we had a little curling team. Um, and though it doesn't look like it's technically challenging, it actually qu- is, and there's a lot of physics huh. to it. So, huh. Huh. excellent. Well, it, it, can, can you curl in Austin, Texas? I have not ever seen an ice rink, although I'm assured by my husband that there is one because he goes <laughs> to hockey games on occasion. Uh-huh. But uh, nice. yeah, not not really a, <laughs> a curling place. Um, okay, so totally different type of thing. If you could bring back any scientist and train them for two months on modern techniques and ideas and then have a beer with that person, who would it be? Oh, maybe Lamarck. <laughs> Lamarck. Yeah. Okay. And wh- why? And then especially once trained on modern types of things, what do you think he would want to do? Well, I think, I think Lamarck had a lot of interesting theoretical ideas, and he just didn't have the science to test them. Um, mm-hmm. And the style of science that his you know, in his day and age was arguing uh, based on examples in nature. Um, Mm -hmm. But if he could have actually tested some of his hypotheses, I think we'd be living in a very different world. So teaching him how to do transgenerational studies in the lab, how to measure epigenetic changes, I think that would have been really exciting. Yeah. Do you have any idea what his first NSF proposal would look like? <laughs> how to prove And, and whether August, it be funded. Yeah. August Wiseman's <laughs> wrong, and here's why. <laughs> a, a rules of life, maybe. Yeah. A rule of life. A rule. Yeah. 